good chat. Um, it was good. World, <laughs> uh, it's your boy. Um, I just want to uh, say I hope y'all are doing having a fantastic day. Um, God bless you, each and every one of y'all, and uh, God bless the world for sure. And it's a uh, it's a good morning today. Um, about to be the afternoon, but uh, yeah, good morning. And um, I hope y'all rest. You know, everything's good on y'all side. I'm sending positive vibes your way. And uh, yeah, let's dive into the news. All right. And shout out to the YouTube. Shout out to Twitch. Shout out to the world, the internet world, the media world. And uh, let's give y'all the real news. All right. And not no fake news. So first off, we got... um. Let me get, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. So we got the U.S. issues um, urgently needed uh, cyber security warning to pipeline operators claims China is behind the hacks, which I probably don't doubt that, but you know, that they're, they're going to put stuff up there like that because of what's going on in Cuba. But um, yeah, the Department of Homeland Security has ordered the pipeline owners and operators to impalate or imp imp um, impediment, impediment or something like that, impediment, um, urgently needed protections against cyber hackers or cyber attackers. And the second such uh, directive since a crippling, uh, crippling ransom attack in May, the Department of Homeland Security issues its latest uh, directive to pipeline owners and operators on Tuesday, more than two months after a ransomware attack um, shut down a critical gas, gasoline and diesel pipeline carrying half the fuel supply of the entire U.S. East Coast. The attack forced the line operator colonial pipeline to shut much of its network for several days and until a ransom was paid to the cyber criminals responsible. All right, let's go on. Let's move on to the next one, which is um. It says the leak exposes global abuse of cyber spying weapon to target p politicians, activists, and journalists. It says a South Front reports that an Israel company spyware was used in attempt and in successful hacks of 37 smartphones belonging to journalist journal journalist. <laughs> Um, government officials and human rights activists around the world, according to and according to an investigation by 17 media organizations published on July the 18th. And uh, yeah, I don't really know much about that. Um, it says, why are Soros and Bill Gates buying UK COVID testing companies? Um, it says an investor led, led by the Soros Economy Development Fund, SEDF, quote unquote, and the Bill and Melina Gates Foundation are buying UK based COVID testing company Molo, Mologic, something like that, which has developed a 10 minute corona test and is best known for its deep nostril swab test for this for vi for the virus and i mean they go up way up in there you know too Yee. i couldn't do it pa and now uh, let's continue on to the next see so Cuba and Russia I'm gonna talk about that soon well actually let's talk about it now so Cuba and, and, and uh, Cuba you got China and Russia we know about that 
because you can you can check out my highlights and it'll tell you about that on Twitch. Um, a little top secret information, and I got top secret information today to let y'all hear as well. And uh, we'll listen to that later. And um, basically, what I think is going on is a um, a red dawn or something like that operation that's going on. And um, I can't say too much, but um, yeah, they they're they got China's and Canada with uh talking about like telling the Canadians the the officials in Canada what well, in Canada the authorities and whatnot to take down pastors and stuff like that to uh move in their their little communism or whatnot China we're speaking about and plus they got submarines and stuff like that around uh Canada in and Cuba Havana Cuba area same as Russia and they're surrounding us for some reason maybe they sense the weakness in Biden I'm not sure what's going on but yeah that's a little update for uh for that but um please come come over to my twitch and you will hear the top secret information guys on on YouTube or you know anybody else that wants to hear it come on it, it, it'll be on my highlights it'll be top secret number six or number five I'm yeah, I think it's number six. So uh, let's continue. Um, Texas home um, explodes. There's uh, injured six were injured in the explosion. Um, a thousand year flood in China. Um, many uh, got taken out. Death, in other words, um, they're they're washed up from the you know the flooding and whatnot. And also, um, lightning strikes Earth, and uh, 1,700 died in India. That's that's crazy. And um, also, uh, 200 people are being monitored for monkeypox in the USA. Um, so be careful with that. Some something about monkeypox. You got? I heard of chicken pox, but I ain't never heard of no monkeypox. So that's something new. Um, also, there was a um, let me see. Also, there's a mega earth, uh, quake that happened 17 hours ago. It was a 6.8 hits Panama, and uh, they're watching for a tsunami as well. And that's about it for the for that. And uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, we'll get we'll dive into the top secret information here in a second. But first, I want to talk about like you know Jesus Christ and everything that I you know around the world and let y'all hear the gospel, okay? From what I've you know from what I've learned so far, you know in John. So I'm reading John and I read like chapter one, two, three, and four, and um basically it's amazing what Jesus did. Um, so I'm going to add my little two cents to it, but, you know, it's just an opinion, but I'm sure this is accurate. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can deny it or whatever you want to do, but this is going to help you. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I learned in John, which is one of the miracles that Jesus Christ did, which Jesus Christ healed, he performed a lot of miracles. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and some of those were you know casting out devils out of people um healing the sick healing the illness um healing um people that were disability like you know crippled and stuff like that they could walk again the people that were blind they could see again people that were you know um that couldn't talk they could talk again you know what i'm saying people that couldn't hear they could hear again and um that's just some of the miracles he performed, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just giving you a little insight of, you know, God's glory and his, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and what Jesus Christ did with his miracles and whatnot. Take a swig of water. So, um, to continue it, 
I was reading in John where it said that, you know, he turned water into wine. You know what I'm saying? And and that right there, I mean, don't take that as, you know, oh, I can go drink and get drunk and stuff like that. Because you got to remember Jesus Christ was all perfect. He didn't sin. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and people claim that he did. Some people claim that he did. But to me, Jesus Christ was all perfect. You know what I'm saying? He never sinned. He conquered sin. He conquered death. You know what I'm saying? That's, and he's all perfect. You feel me? So what I'm basically saying is that, you know what I'm saying? Even though he changed water into wine, that don't mean that we go out there and get drunk. That don't mean that we go out there and get tipsy. And that don't mean we go out there and get, you know, to drink to get a buzz. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, eventually it's going to lead to you to get, getting drunk. You know what I'm saying? And, and drunk it. And, you know, being drunk is not... You know, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, you know, in my past, I was getting drunk and stuff like that, but I ended up throwing up at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That stuff ain't fun, you know? So, like, basically what I'm saying is Jesus Christ, yeah, he probably drunk wine. He probably, you know, did that, but he didn't drink it to get, get a buzz. He didn't drink it to get tipsy. He didn't drink it to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? So why should you? You know what I'm saying? If it, it if it comes to a point where you're just sipping just to be sipping, you might as well just quit, man. You know, or sister, or you know, females, males. I'm talking to everybody. You feel me? So like, just because he turned water to wine, don't mean you gotta go out there and drink wine. You know, um, there's other things you can do to uh, give you happiness. Instead of drinking to, you know, to fulfill that. So just letting you know. And um, for the second miracle he performed was, uh, I think it was a Roman soldier that came to him. You can read this in John chapters one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. And um, a Roman soldier came to him and he said his boy was dying, that he was bad off sick. Right. He, he was, you know, riding his horse. And Jesus, Jesus was walking and he was with his followers because Jesus said, you know, follow me. You know what I'm saying? So follow Jesus. Follow Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Follow him. You know what I'm saying? He never. Jesus Christ didn't never start a religion. You know what I'm saying? Even though religion can help you get closer to Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Religion, is it going to like, hurt you? Is it church? Is it going to hurt you? But you got to choose the right church. Make sure that they believe in the Holy Trinity. Make sure that they believe in the Holy Spirit. Make sure that they believe into these things. You know what I'm saying? And they're preaching repentance. And they're preaching prophecies. And they're not scared to, you know, to pit it in biblical terms to, um, you know, to give you a warning of what's going on and what's, you know, and to be ready for the rapture and the pre uh, tri tribulations. And that's, you know, that's another thing that I believe. I believe there's there's going to be a rapture and then there's going to be a pre tribulation or. It's, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, we're not going to I don't think we're going to face the, the us as Christians, us as brothers and sisters in Christ. We're not going to be in that tribulation. That's just my opinion. There's other people out there that think differently. You know what I'm saying? But that's just opinions. You know? And, um, but, you know, if you read it yourself, you can find out your answer, you know, and, and, um, and how you feel about it, you know? So, you know, just read the Bible. Just read it. You know what I'm saying? This is the one that you want to, you want to, you know, it's a guider through life. And um, so anyway, uh, there was a Roman soldier that came up to Jesus Christ and he told him about his son that was dying. And um, his and uh, Jesus Christ told him that his son wouldn't die. That, uh, you know, because he was, you know, the, the Roman soldier was pleading to him. He was pleading to him. And uh, and he and Jesus told him that his son wouldn't die, you know. And right there, he, he performed his second miracle. And um. And anyway, the long story short, the Roman soldier returned to his son, 
Well, he didn't make it to his son, but his, you know, the people that was watching his son made it to him, to the Roman soldier was, let's just call him a captain, right? So the captain that had a son that was sick, he went to Jesus and he asked him for healing. Okay. The cat, the captain of the, of, of, of a Roman legion, so to speak, or whatever. So he came to Jesus and Jesus told him that he would that he would heal him, that, it, you know what I'm saying, that he wouldn't die because the boy was near death because he was bad off sick. And that's another miracle. You know what I'm saying? He healed the people that were near death and they were jumping up and down again in glory. Praise the Lord, you know, all glory to God. And um, anyway, the the uh, his soldiers, his, his, his soldiers that were watching the kid, well, met him halfway. They were, you know, Gallic and, you know, gapping to each other on their horses. And um, he and the soldiers met him halfway. Here comes the captain coming, returning, you know what I'm saying, coming from Jesus, you know, when because he was, he was, you know, he went away to talk to Jesus because he heard about his, his healings and stuff like that. I healed the crippled and stuff like that and whatnot. And the people that were near death and the people that were, you know, dealing with le leprosy stuff like that he healed those people with a, with a touch of his hand and you know a pray to God and by the Holy Spirit they were healed and um so anyway the, the soldiers met the cap, captain halfway because the captain was returning back to his son because Jesus had told him that oh man you know what I'm saying your son's gonna be healed when you get back to your son and about that time his soldiers, you know, I guess they were, they were, uh, you know what I'm saying, coming back to the captain because they were astonished by how the kid was recovering so fast. I, you know, I wasn't there, but I'm just, you know, going off of what the, the, you know, the book's saying, you know, the Holy Bible. And, um, so anyway, um, the guy end up, the captain end up, you know, seeing that uh, Jesus wasn't, you know, wrong, that he healed his boy, you know what I'm saying, from death. And, um, you know, that's another, you know, that's another reason why you need to give your life to Jesus Christ, guys. He can, he heals the, the near death. And, you know, if you, you got to really believe and really receive that healing, you know what I'm saying, have that faith and, and, um. And the Holy Trinity, have faith in, in God, have faith in Jesus Christ, have faith in the Holy Spirit, you know, have faith in the God, the Father, you know, and um, God, the Word, God, the Holy Spirit, and that's the Holy Trinity, and um, and that right there is go ahead and tell you what's going on, you know what I'm saying, and it's, this is a good thing, it's, it's nothing bad, you know, and um, it shows you how much God loves us, you know what I'm saying, and and how much He gives us the strength to keep going and and keep spreading His word and and His truth, you know, and um and He, you know, that's not the only person He healed, you know what I'm saying. He healed all kinds of people. He fed thousands and thousands of people, and um. Uh, you know, he just, he turned a little bit of bread and a little bit of fish into a lot of, you know, a lot of things, a lot of, I haven't gotten that far to it, but this is just what I heard over, you know, just from going to church and stuff back in the day and, and whatnot. And, and, um, you know, they were preaching about it and I, you know, it's, in, it's been in my heart for a long time. So I'm just letting y'all know, just giving y'all what's up, you know, giving you that energy and, um, and also, I just want to say that, you know, that Jesus Christ uh, also healed the people that were, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he he, uh, he he healed a lot of people. Like, I mean, anything that you can think of, bro, like any type of sickness, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, he healed them. He healed them. I mean, yeah, we wasn't there to experience experience it. But that's why you have faith. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have hope in Jesus Christ. That's why you trust in God. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
because he, Jesus Christ performed miracles through the Holy Spirit and, and by the glory of God. And also, if you ever heard heard of this guy named um uh Liz, uh what's his name Lazarus Lazarus something like that Lazarus uh now he now Jesus Christ performed um a resurrection up upon him Lazarus or Lazarus or something like that you can look this up and um definitely in the Bible. Well, Lazarus, he died, right? Because he was bad all sick. And Jesus didn't make it there to uh, heal him, but he had people that were coming to him and they were crying and stuff like that and um, to Jesus. And Jesus, you know, it was heartfelt to him. And um, what he did was he went to Lazarus' tomb, uh, tomb and Lazarus was there for four days already you know what i'm saying he was dead for four days and um he came to his tomb and he healed him like he he resurrected him by the power of god by the glory of god and um by the holy spirit of course and that right there is one of the things i forgot you know what i'm saying and now it, it reminded me of how much jesus christ loves us and how much um, he chairs chariots, you know, chariots, not chariot, like a chariot, but, uh, chariot, uh, I can't even speak. Um, uh, well, how much he loves us, in other words, his passion, his, uh, compassion, his, uh, you know, his, his sweetness, his kindness, his, um, his joy that he gives us, his peace, his, um, you know, the strength, his protection, his, um, his armor, you know, God, you know, the full armor of God, the, um, the spiritual gifts he gives us, the wisdom, the knowledge, the healing, the miracles, the, um, you know, even some of them talk in tongues, not all, but some, you know what I'm saying? And then you got your interpreters that interpretate what they're saying in tongues. You know what I'm saying? Because, you, but you be careful though, because some Satanists talk in tongues too. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. And um, I just wanted to let y'all know that you know, uh, Lazarus, he, he uh, he he died for seven for four days, right? And um, and then Jesus Christ uh, healed him, and um, he he resurrected him, and he wasn't the uh, he, you know, cause, well, the thing about it, what I was amazed that amazed me was he he, he resurrected Lazarus before he resurrected himself by the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? And that's that was just amazing right there. That that uh, and I wanted to let y'all know about that. You know, not to forget Jesus Christ's miracles and um, you know, his healings and his love that he gives. A, that he gives us and his um you know that he looks out for us that he you know what I'm saying to, to not give up the uh you know to give you life to Jesus Christ the um you know what I'm saying to experience all this love to experience everything to experience the protection the the gifts of the Holy Spirit you know what I'm saying the spiritual gifts and uh, uh that's that's the main thing about it guys is you know, if you get born again, you get saved and baptized, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can experience, you can have these, you can have, you know, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You can have the protection of God. You can have the wisdom, the the guidance, the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, that you can receive. And that's, you know, but you have to be born again. You have to receive the Holy Spirit, the comforter. And that's, you know, that's the main course of it. But the thing about Lazarus, um, you know, he got resurrected by the Holy Spirit, right? And that man, was, he came up out of the tomb like a mommy type, you know what I'm saying? He had mommy clothes and he, he was all wrapped up and everything. And he walked up out of there. That's just, you know, that's amazing, bro. <sighs> wow. That's the power of God right there, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you want to go against something like that? Why you like, why not get right with Jesus Christ after all that? 
You know what I'm saying? How much more evidence do you need? You know, how much more proof do you need? How much more, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. Some people are just, you know, just bad apples, I guess. But the ones that are listening and that are taking heed to this, that are t listening with their ears and, and um, you know what I'm saying, understanding everything and questioning and, and whatnot and have questions and have questions in, them, in their heart and questions in their mind. You know what I'm saying? Seek Jesus out. Seek Jesus Christ out. He can answer it. He can answer it. You know? And um, he'll answer all your questions. Just keep keep looking for the right church. Keep looking for the for that street preacher or for that, you know, that brother or sister in Christ. They'll lead you down the right path you need to be on. You know what I'm saying? And um that's the main course, bro. The main course. And, you know, and Jesus Christ, you know, healing um, uh, Lazarus and, and res you know, res well, first he resurrected him and then he healed him. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, well, actually, he just resurrected him and he, and he was good. But the, the thing about it that, you know, I think it was Mary or something like that, that was, uh, that was, you know, they had to um, clean him up and stuff out of there because he was in that tomb for four days. But the, the thing about it is that that was a miracle right there, you know, and. Um, and, you know, from from there, that man was live, living, he was living again. And that that right there gave you another, you know, another example of why you should believe in Jesus Christ's erection, you know. Uh, resurrection and um that's you know that's more proof how much more proof do you need you know give your life to jesus christ guys he's the he's he's the only way he's the only way buddha that man he can't help you you know what i'm saying muhammad he can't help you these people were are died you know they're dead you know what i'm saying they, you know, they, they was it. They didn't never resurrect. You know what I'm saying? They didn't never, um, you know what I'm saying? They didn't die on the cross for our sins. Only Jesus Christ did, you know, and, um, for us all, you know what I'm saying? And for our sins, like just listen to what I'm saying. He died on the cross for our sins. Buddha didn't do that. Muhammad didn't do that. All those a thousand Hindu gods, they didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Only Jesus Christ. He is the life. You know what I'm saying? He is the truth. He is the only way. So get right with Jesus Christ. Give your life to him. And I'll show you how you can do that. It's easy to do that, man. You just call out with your, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you the ABCs of salvation as well. Which is, you know, the salvation is in Jesus Christ. That's our salvation. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, let me see. So, I'm going to read. I'm going to read this real quick for you. It says, Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are you saved through faith. And not, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, in case any man should boast. You know what I'm saying? So you got that. And that's Ephesians 2, 8 through um, 9. And then 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And I'll read that real quick. It says, Moreover, brethren, um, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also ye have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory that what I preached to you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was 
buried and that he rose again on the third day according to scriptures and that's you know that's a the resurrection you know what i'm saying and i'll give you some more information um which is the abc's of salvation you can look this up it says a a which stands for admit that you are a sinner this is where that godly sorrow leads to genuine repentance for sinning against the righteous god and there is a change of heart we change our mind and we change and and god changes our hearts and regenerates us from the inside out and then b means believe in your heart that jesus christ died on the cross for our sins and was buried and that jesus christ rose on the third day by the you know by the holy spirit and um it says believe in your heart that jesus christ died for your sins and well for our sins and was buried in that god raised jesus from the dead on the third day by the holy spirit and this is trusting with all your heart that jesus christ is who he said he is and then c says call upon the name of the lord this is trusting with all your heart that Jesus Christ is who he said he is. Every sense, every person who ever lived since Adam or Eve will bend their knee and confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. All right. And then I'm going to give you in scripture as well what you could do with that. All right. So you got there's plenty of scriptures. So we got, let me read this one right here for you. So let's see. Is this John? So it says, um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only forgotten son that what's whoever believed whosoever believe in him shall not will shall not perish but have everlasting life and that he's talking and that right there's talking about everlasting life in heaven you know what I'm saying and everlasting life and you know regardless and um for God sent his son into the world to for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay. And then I'm going to read John 4.16. Well, not 4.16. Hold on. John. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what. Of what it was 14 yeah 14 6 so Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the so he is the only way you know what I'm saying he is the truth and he is also the life you know what I'm saying and and also I'm gonna tell you this Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him okay and that right there is telling you that you need to give your life to jesus christ man that's the only way you can get into heaven low key and um let's see john 3 3 says jesus answered and said to him volley volley which is truly truly i say to thee i say to you me except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god all right and then John 3 5 it says uh, Jesus answered truly truly I say to you or me except a man be born of water and of the spirit he can not enter into the kingdom of God which you know that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit marvel not that I said to thee ye must be born again okay and that's right that right there is just basically telling you that you need to be born again to receive the holy spirit you know what i'm saying that means be saved be baptized by living waters you know what i'm saying by the by born of waters okay 
and um let's see we'll go to uh we'll go to Romans well no wait let's go to uh Isaiah 55 6 which is a good one If I can find it, here we go. 55 6. It says, Seek ye seek um ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. That's basically letting you know that you can call upon him. Say so like seek out Jesus, like Jesus Christ. You know, seek him out, pray to him. Close your eyes, get on your knees, and and you know, pray to Jesus Christ. Cry out to him. And um, also Jeremiah, let me look up Jeremiah real quick. Let me see what Jer where Jeremiah is. Um. Give me a moment. One second, Chad. One second. So that's eight ninety six. Eight ninety six. See, we passed it. Eight ninety six, and then twenty nine thirteen. I believe it is. Twenty nine thirteen, and he. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. So, you know, you cry out with all your heart and seek Jesus Christ out. Call upon his name. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus Christ, crying with, a, you know, eyes flowing down with, with tears and you crying to him. And, you know, you're using all your heart, you know what I'm saying, to call out to him. Because if you do that. He would, you know, he'll come to you. Ask him to touch you on your heart. Ask him to uh, come into your heart. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you can do it. And then from there, just keep on seeking him out. Just continue to do it. Keep continue to do it. Keep on doing it, cause eventually he's gonna come. Eventually he's gonna come to you, brother or sister, whoever it may be. That's wants to call him out. And I encourage you to do that today. I encourage you to do that today. Don't wait. Do it now if you have to. And then Romans. I'll give you Romans, which is also another good, good one. Romans. And that's chapter 10. says 9 through 10 it says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has um, raised him from the dead you shall be saved and then it continues to say for what I mean for with the heart man be it believeth believe to righteousness and with the mouth confession is made to salvation and that's what I mean by like admit that you're a sinner and then believe in Jesus Christ and then call upon his name you know what I'm saying that confession that confession you know what I'm saying and then from there you keep going out and you keep seeking them you go outside go to a church that's not running from the Holy Spirit that has the Holy Trinity in their name and they're, you know what I'm saying, that's, they believe in the Holy Trinity, because that's the only, you know what I'm saying, that's not false doctrine, that's not false teaching. Anybody that's preaching that Holy Trinity is false doctrine, that are, they're the ones that's false doctrine, they're the ones that's false teaching, okay? Because the Holy Trinity is all throughout the Bible, it's all throughout it. You know what I'm saying, look at, look at Genesis, look at, uh, Look at Genesis 1. Genesis um, 1 26. 
It says, and God said, let us make man. Let us, key words. That's one example of the Holy Trinity. And then if you go to Matthew, if you go to Matthew 28, 18, 18 through 9. Twenty-eight, so that's chapter eight, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, and then eighteen through through twenty. It says, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, "All power is given to me in heaven and in her and earth." And then it says, "Go ye, go you, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit." Make sure they're baptizing people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, if you go to a church and they're doing baptism, all right, may tell them that you want to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, after you, you know, you're ready to be saved. And then they'll tell you, do you are you ready to be baptized? And you'll be like, yes, I'm ready to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell them you want to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Trinity. Okay, and it's all throughout the Bible. I'm t telling you this right now. And then it continues to say, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you. Uh, uh, um, I am with you always, even into, even to the end of the earth. Amen. And then, if you look at one John, give you a, a fourth example of why the Holy Trinity is true doctrine, like his true thing is true. You know what I'm saying? It's true stuff. It's never don't never let nobody tell you the Holy Trinity's false teaching or false doctrine because they'll be lying straight to their teeth. It's a lie from the devil. It's a lie from the devil. And they're mocking the Holy Trinity. That's what demons do. For real. That's what demons do. All right. Let me find one John real quick. One John five seven is the verse. One John, so that's fourteen. Okay, we got it right here. So one John. 1 John 5 7. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, 5. It says, For there are three that bear record in heaven. Are she key words? For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these are three are one. And these three are one. So that's one, two, three equals three. You know what I'm saying? One, one, one equals three. So that, that's why I say make sure that they're baptizing in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Because the, the Word is the Son. And I'll tell you why that is. If you go to John 1. Go to John 1. It'll tell you straight like that. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, that's why we say that Jesus Christ is God. Okay? And then you have the Holy Trinity, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And they all work together, which, which makes the Godhead. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. So, there you have it, guys. God bless each and every one of you. Salute to you. And um, stay up. Be easy. And uh, shout out to YouTube. Y'all hold it down. Be safe. God bless you, each and every one of your families.